Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are watching this weekly What If from I am Vicky Midwood, the alcohol addiction and disordered eating eliminator, and I am with the lovely Jenny Bolt today. How are you today, Jenny, my dear? Really well, thank you. I've got these beautiful flowers to enjoy as well. How did, how did I get so lucky? I was just admiring those as we were having yeah. a quick chat in the background. They are absolutely gorgeous. And just having a little bit of nature in the home makes you feel so much better, doesn't it? Yes. Absolutely. So, yeah. Now then, this week's what if. Um, I love this. I absolutely love it. I have no clue where it is going to take us, but we will go with the flow. So, Jenny, would you like to share what our title of this week's weekly what if is all about? I certainly would. So... What if fixing wasn't required? Wow. I just love so, that because when we're talking about fixing, it can take us in so many different areas. Um, and we were having a real quick chat beforehand, weren't we? And I said yeah. that it automatically takes me to, to the physical, to illness. We want to fix something that is wrong. And we tend to go to the GP to get a fix when we have symptoms but we're going to cover not just the physical issues but also physical and mental because in our world both of us know that the body works as a complete whole and it's not separate bits <laughs> so what we think affects how we feel physically and how we feel physically affects how we feel mentally and we've been brought up in society uh, well I certainly have in the in the kind of world that I lived in that, that if something needed to be sorted, then it needed to be fixed. And we went to somebody who could fix us. But I no longer believe that at all. And I really do not think fixing is required because we ain't broken. So, Jenny, I'm going to hand over to you uh, and ask you, what was what was your kind of background and family idea about if you if things weren't going the way they should or if you weren't so well? What did your family do? Yeah, exactly. It's very similar to yours in that respect, but it, it's about fixing what was wrong, you know, what you didn't get right. Yeah. Um, well, get on with it, you know, just do something. So it was, a, it was, um, you, you never could just, okay, what next? It was always do, taking an action to do something specific to put whatever, what, fix it required at that time yeah and this kind of opens up the door to things being right or wrong yep. broken or not broken and we all know that we the world's not black and white it is multiple shades of gray isn't it and that goes for absolutely all areas of life and embrace those multiple shades because those are what allow us to get really really curious about what if i didn't need to fix this. Yes, I think also that we tend to use our mind when we're wanting to fix things. So that then that's only we only use judgments, we use just the information that we've bought in from this reality. So what if you were able to instead of thinking you have to use your mind to fix it, you asked a question which takes you beyond your head. Yeah and see what comes up, like even what action can I take now? What is it about this I'm not getting? And those kind of questions immediately take you away from the logical mind, because the logical mind is based on everything that we've ever picked up in this reality. Absolutely, it does. And I, yeah, I was gonna say mentally, of course, that, and, and mentally that's what sticks us. We, 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 we learn it, well, it has to be done this way. We must fix it that way. Yeah. Well that's how we fixed it last time that's how we did it this time right. and I was just thinking of just even this week actually this marvelous news about landing on Mars yes. you know you're looking at it how many million miles away and the number's gone away from me for the moment but you know th that wasn't dreamt it was always sci-fi it wasn't anything that wasn't dreamt of yeah and that was just purely exploring further and going out and out further and further and what else is possible questions. Yes. And, and, that's, and that's what if we use that instead of doing, I must fix this, the, the, the very language we use. And I think that mentally is what we, we tend to do is by fixing it, we actually usually come to a conclusion 
that sticks us. It's very finite. And we kind of have nowhere to go except where right. we've just already decided we have to fix. How, how restricting is that? So if we ask, yes. what is possible here? What well, else I haven't considered? That's kind of where it always takes me because if if in our head we think we need to fix something to take it back to how it was previously, then we can ask ourselves, well, actually, is that what I really want? Do I actually want to be back where I was? Because if back where I was previously wasn't serving me, why do I want more of that? Surely this is the prime opportunity. If my brain's going, this isn't right, it needs fixing or sorting, <laughs> right? Yes. <laughs> but we can, then we can say, okay, so, so what potentially could that look like? How many different paths could that take me down? And when I'm working with the physical body and we're looking at root cause of issues, um, then that is for me to say, right, so we know that you've got symptoms, but let's not do what your allopathic doctors do and fix symptoms. Let's do what we're meant to do and ask the question, so what's actually causing this? rather than trying to fix what's there in front of us. And, and that opens up so many more questions, but also so much more freedom to allow yourself to see, as you said, just what's possible. Yes. Uh, and what is that is even a great question as well. Yes, what is it? Or what is about this I'm not getting? Because we are all buying into what somebody has said. So take this medication. You're neither of us are particularly into medication, but that is what we're fed. Yeah. Even a particularly in this complete uh, interesting situation that we find ourselves. And um, you know how much awareness are we not creating by trying to fix? Yeah. What if? What if actually you, you are unfixing? what you think you should be fixing <laughs> and you know what that's just kind of twigged in my brain something that I was listening to um on the news this morning which and I'm sure other people have probably seen this today as well because it's it's kind of I think it's been in the papers and, and they were actually talking about it but but flu has kind of like disappeared now there yeah. is there is the rule of thought that's going oh well people are misdiagnosing flu and saying that it's covid it's possible, but there's actually some research now that you can go look up. Um, they have actually got numbers and figures. And um, this is the interesting thing. So we weren't fixing our flu problem, right? But we've discovered a solution to make it better, i.e. to pretty much wipe it out by wearing masks, by socially distancing, and by keeping our hands clean. So we have unwittingly fixed a flu situation right which we've had year upon year and upon year that's rendered the nhs buckling under its knees on many a year when it's been really really bad and suddenly by not trying to fix flu with a jab but by fixing it by changing our behavior patterns and our lifestyle choices well hello we've opened ourselves up to the possibility that we don't have to have a flu problem every single year isn't that awesome I think that's absolutely amazing, uh, and a long way that continue. And that brings me on to the the, the medical mental side, if you like. I use the word mental. I really don't like it, but it is what people understand, and that's an area that I work in. It's about creating something different with that. So, as you're saying, with the flu, it's the physical side and what's going on. When we change something, so something's changed by default almost this yeah. time. Yeah. Who was looking for that? No, oh. they were busy fixed on another outcome. Yeah. So how much are we fixed on when we're fixed on an outcome? Do we actually miss what's really there and a great awareness staring us in the face? Love it. And that is a lot of people will find that in business particularly in that they're looking for what is the problem that they need to fix mm -hmm. when they're missing all of the other stuff because they're concentrating on that. Um, and so that question, what, what if fixing wasn't required, is I think something that we all need to be asking ourselves so much more often in all areas of life. Absolutely. I, I find that the, our natural way is for that. I mean, certainly from a background, educational background as myself, yeah. people are always having to find a solution, fixing with a solution of some sort, whatever that is. This is right. That is wrong. 
Uh, yeah. and, and that's where they're functioning from. So each time you're looking at that, you're walking along a narrow path to go to the right place or the place that you've been told is right. right. Because after all, what's been put into our minds, our logical minds, is only what we've seen and heard on this planet. Exactly. We can only uh, go by our experience and our exactly. awareness. Yep. Where, whereas when you start going, actually, what is required here? What is it that's actually required? What action can I take now? What can I change? Yep. When can I change it? What point? Who can I ask? When nice. you go into those questions, you're automatically out of your head. I mean, okay. our heads are our heads are out of our minds. What if that? You know, they're Mars thing. We've gone way to Mars and planet. Our, our, our bodies are just here physically on Earth. Our mind, our brain, so-called, is shut in this skull here. But our brain goes way beyond that. We're yeah. outside of ourselves, if you like. <laughs> Absolutely. And we've not even touched on no. our energetic being, no. whether you want to call it soul or, or you know, anything like that. But I, I think in terms of energy, um, okay. because as we said last time, we are energetic beings and we give off vibration. And why do we want to stifle that vibration by always looking to fix something? Surely we want to try and explore what more there is for us, Absolutely. not keep ourselves in a little bit of a box that goes, yeah, this is what we do. And for you in education, that must have been a heck of a challenge because you've got boxes to tick and and by certain age, you know, a child should be able to do this. And by a certain age, they should be able to do that. And if they can't do that, then we need to fix it so that we can tick the box. And, it, and it's like, well, hang on, you're missing how creative that child is. And what an incredible imagination and, and what abilities they've got in all these other areas. Because we've got to keep everybody stereotyped. And fixing Absolutely. stuff just keeps us, as you said before, absolutely stuck but it also assumes that we all want the same things and we all want the same solution we all want the same result which is bonkers yes and that, that's where being in question is so good and uh, that's educate yes education system is something i feel rather but I, I i know rather strongly about i i think that the interesting people are panicking and yes i'm well aware there are a lot of children who haven't had the opportunities that others have had it, but what it has done is is wake people up on the fixing yes because the mental wellness in in the country without going political it, you know obviously has come to the fore there's great more awareness about what's required there what, yep. what what opportunities there might be to to improve on that um and and the children's working at home and playing um studying well, some have loved it and some haven't, and that is okay. Yeah. And yeah. I think this is the other thing is it's okay. And when I say okay, it's not okay, like no. that, that energy of okay. But what if it's not wrong? People are all different. We're, every single one of us is made up of different molecules, and energetically we are who we are. But we bear in mind we also pick up all the thoughts, feelings, emotions that are coming from other people. Absolutely. So a great question to ask when you're looking to fix something is, okay, who truth, who does that actually belong to or what can I do as possible? Who does this belong to, all this stuff? Because yeah. what, what's, what if I don't need a solution here? What if there is another way? Absolutely. And that is, I think, the stuff. And I was having a great conversation after a networking meeting with, with somebody who actually is, is in education and who's been working all the way through. And we were having a, a chat about what, what happens now because the schools are all kind of scrambling to get everything back and ready for the 8th of March and it's like surely this is the prime opportunity to not go back to the system yeah. that has not been working surely this whole thing has been the time to say instead of trying to fix this system why don't we just start a whole new way of doing things that actually serves us as teachers better, but also the children who are going to have a different kind of a future. Because let's face it, I believe very powerfully and strong for, and strongly that, that this whole outdated model of go to school, pass your exams, go to university, get a top job, have a family and a home and 2.4 kids in your house, really? 
Are we still aspiring to do that in 2021? I don't think so. And yet our whole system of education is keeping that outdated model going. If this pandemic has not shown us uh, many things, which it has, surely one of the biggest ones should be that society and how we can run it has changed completely. And so many more people are now setting up their own businesses and wanting to be their own bosses and working from home that, that surely we need to say, let's not try and fix what we've got, but let's try and give ourselves the chance to do it differently. Absolutely. So what if no fixing? Uh, and I, I think that, <laughs> that, that it's, uh, that's absolutely great because the, the, the whole system, it's about creativity to me. You know, yeah. what can we be and do today to create more for our life right away? What can, we, what can I be today to add more ease and joy in my life today? How much lighter is that than a oh, better fix this? Uh, yeah. And I have to say that's kind of where so many people don't realize that they are holding themselves back and getting in their own way. It's, it's so true, isn't it? So if, um, if anybody is kind of worried um, and they have children who are now going back to school um, or they're, they're actually right, quite scared about going back, um, there's gonna be an element of parents wanting to fix how <laughs> their children feel about that. Um, the reality is, some kids, as you say, are, will be knocking on the door. Let me back in. I can't wait. And there will be other kids. Oh, you've disappeared. <laughs> oh, so Jenny's disappeared on that note. I'm going to wrap up here and I'm going to ask Jenny the question that I was going to ask her on the next episode of What If. But if you do have any issues with your child or you are concerned about them going back to school um, next week, please, please, please do connect with Jenny. She is Jenny Bolt on LinkedIn, and she is also Jenny Bolt on Facebook. Um, you can also get in touch with me. I'm Vicky Midwood on LinkedIn and Vicky Midwood on Facebook, as well as vickymidwood.com on my website. And we will see you next time on our weekly what if thanks for watching if you do have questions or comments please put hashtag replay in the comments box and we would love to have a chat with you and we will respond to your comments if you leave them so thank you once again uh, be, see you next week bye bye <laughs>